Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO Sword and Shield video. Today guys, we're going to be taking a look at a Muck Toxicroak deck here. So we got this new Toxicroak with the ability More Poison. I mean, it's a pretty straightforward ability name, right? Put two damage counters on your opponent's Poison Pokemon um, during Pokemon Checkup, which is the same thing as in between turns. So it just is pretty much adding 20 more damage on top of the Poison. So if you have two of these in play, um, your Mux attacks Toxic... Se toxic... Secret Secretition. I don't even know how to say that, but we'll just call it Toxic. Just 40 damage. Your opponent's active is now poison. You put two damage counters instead of one. So you're doing 60 in total, but with a Toxic you can play, you're doing 80. With two Toxic you're doing 100, and then you're doing 60 damage in between turns with poison. So that's really good. Um, and this thing's also a Psychic type, which means we get to use it with Spell Tech, of course. And that adds a lot of pressure onto this deck. So this is a really cool combo I wanted to try out. Um, cause I was, when building Toxic, I was looking at all the poison Pokemon. The other obvious choice to play this card would be with a Lolan Muck GX. If you guys want to see me do an Lolan Muck Toxic video, I'm down to do it. But I saw this Muck, and I was like, this thing might be a little bit funner to play. So before we get the video, guys, of course, shout out to our sponsor, Karkam and TCG. You guys, as always, if you're ever in any need of any PCO pack codes, guys, if you're still looking to get Sword and Shield codes, get them over at Karkam and TCG. You get your Sword and Shield codes singly, get them in lots of 50, or you can get Sword and Shield codes in lots of 100. Um... All at a pretty good price. You can also get all the other PCO codes you're looking for, any other pack codes, like Unbroken Bonds, Team Up, or Unified Minds, any GX codes, any V codes, any V Max codes, whatever codes you're looking for. Get them over at Car Cavern TCG, guys. If you get anything from Car Cavern at the checkout, make sure you use my discount code code LDF for a 5% discount on your order. Support the channel, support Car Cavern TCG, help yourself out. So, yeah, shout out to our sponsor. So, let's look at this list. So, it's a pretty straightforward deck. Um, it's just you're poisoning with muck. Um, now, Muck does have Poison Sacks. The Special Condition is not removed when your opponent's uh, Pokemon evolve. When your opponent's Pokemon evolve or de-evolves. Wait, is that a typo? I think... Oh my god, I think they forgot to put the S at the end. <laughs> that's hilarious. Um, so, that's kind of relevant. I mean, if you hit like a V Pokemon, like you hit Lapras V, it evolves in Lapras V Max. Hey, it's still poisoned. Um, evolutions are not super popular, but there are still people that want to play them because they're fun. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty straightforward archetype. Toxic Secretion does 40 with... Um, where is it? Spell tag on top of that. Of course, you do an extra 40. So there's a lot this deck can do. It's pretty annoying to play against. Um, now, Switch is a pretty good card right now. Malolan Lana is not as popular or as seen as it once was. So that's actually really good for this deck. The fact that Malolana has kind of dropped off in popularity. Switch is still very popular. There are a lot of decks people are using that still have like four Switches in them. But outside of that, this deck can still be pretty annoying. Um, and of course, with Toxic we just add extra damage. We do play a Baby Blue Cephalon. That's another nice insurance card with Fireworks Bomb, uh, since we don't play any GXs. Now, this could be a budget deck if the Jirachis weren't in here. It's only two Jirachis, though. You want to take out Jirachi, be my guest. Um, I still think this card is just too good not to have in this deck, in my opinion. But if you guys want to take out Jirachi, you can, if you really want to. Um, I mean, you could throw in another Absol if you want. Uh, we got Ditto, we got Mew, of course. This is a pretty straightforward Psychic deck. Let's go into the items now. We got two Evolution Incense to find our Evolutions. Uh, three Treasures, one Con, three Quick Ball. So we have a lot of Pokemon Searching cards. Uh, we have 21 Pokemon in the deck, so I just thought one Pokecon would be kind of cheeky. Um, we got all those Quick Balls. We have Treasure, which can find us Grimer and stuff. There's a lot of Pokemon Search this deck has. Um, I got an Ordinary Rod in the deck, of course. Three Switch. I'm only playing one Escape Board. We already have a lot of tools. We have four Spell Tags, a Counter Gain, in case we need to go off with Fireworks Bomb. Um, and we have one escape board, so I wish I could play two escape board, but to confiscate that, I have put in three switch. Um, only one shrine. Another card I wish I could play more of would be Shrine of Punishment. Um, and I have a lot of supporters. I have ten. I have four Cynthia, two research, and I'm actually playing four Marnie. The reason for four Marnie is the whole logic is if we hit them for the poison damage, while we Marnie them to a, a four card hand, we just hope that four card hand doesn't give them an out to getting out of poison. That is pretty much the whole logic behind Marnie is if we can brick them out of finding switch or something. Um, but yeah, that's it for my Muck Toxicroak list. A pretty cool deck. It's actually a really fun deck to play when it kind of works. Um, so let's go try it out. Okay, guys, let's go test out the Muck Toxicroak deck here and uh, see how good it is. Honestly, uh, all right, we're up against Themac here. Now, the types kind of match up to ADP, but there was no Dragon in the preview. So I guess it's not ADP. It's probably going to be a Frost Moth deck, which is what I would have to be my best guess. Because my opponent is going to be playing Frost Moth here. So we'll have to see. And hopefully we can uh, do good, I guess. I don't know if Poison's too relevant against Frostmoth. Um, but we'll see. I think uh, we could be good. Spell Tag maybe. Not going to Frostmoth. Frostmoth only has 90 HP, so it's kind of weak. 
and my opponent is taking a very long time there we go okay i was gonna say i was like uh, bro that's getting a little boring uh i'm thinking i'm gonna go first because they can get a turn two for they go first i think it's better for me to go first try to rely on a good setup here not the worst hand ever we got a grimer ditto we do have access to jirachi which is good um, we can switch in Jirachi, try to get a supporter. We have two Stella Wishes to work with technically going back into our next turn. So we have a few things we can do, and then hopefully we can hit the opponent and kind of start the poison, the poison train. We'll see how many, uh, things we get. So we'll start with, we'll start with the Grimer. I mean, to be fair, I do have the Incense too, so like I could honestly hold the hand, but I think we have to go Jirachi because we need to start digging for a supporter. Okay, um... Put that ditto there. And uh, we'll see where this goes. Oh, they're playing Pika. Yikes. Um, we actually drew a research. So yeah, we don't actually have to get Jirachi now. Which is pretty good. Uh, I think we're just going to get a Krogunk here. Sure. Seems fine to me. Seems good. Okay, they're starting to play now, which is good. I was worried. Uh, let's see if they play Fion, because if they give me the... If I have to go into Ditto, that's fine, because if... I mean, if Ditto gets knocked out, it's going to suck, but... We could still evolve it into a Mark. It's not the big... Not a big deal. No, they're going to go to Dene here. What are they discarding? Two Great Catchers. Not really anything relevant in this matchup, unfortunately. Nothing too special there. There's a Coco V. So the one thing that kind of concerns me is zero aura allowing the opponent to free retreat through my poison that is not very good not very good at all uh it's actually pretty unlikely they get the turn to attack off here i mean judging from their little start maybe they don't have it okay no research just a volkner so i'm pretty sure we're safe unless they get like something insane they can't go to denny again which is good and once again if ditto lives that'd be good actually we could knock out the jirachi here too and get the uh, Muck Toxic Crow combo. Drachi can get knocked out, which is really nice. Uh, if they do go into it. Ooh, they get rid of a stamp. You love to see it. See what they get. Probably a Pika and most likely Zero Aura. Then they'll have one card in their hand. Oh, they actually get Pika and Dedene. So that means the other card in their hand is either a Switch or. No, it's not. Okay. Beautiful. Uh, so we're just going to go research here, I think. Get ourselves a Muck. Mock might not even get knocked out either, so that's pretty good. Alright, research. The nice thing too, they can't actually even bench a Zero Aura here, so they have to get Switch. We got a Mew. We didn't find any... We pretty much just got four supporters off of that. Uh, we could put down the Shrine. We didn't get a Spell Tag either, so that was a pretty bad research, but... What is hope Mock doesn't get knocked out? There's a chance it survives a turn, even though they do have a Dedenne here. Get some Shrine Ticks in play. Yeah, not getting Spell Tag or Toxicroak. Not really great, but we can, we can, we can live, we'll live, we'll live. <laughs> Not ideal, but whatever. Um, again, if they bench the Dene, they won't have room for Zero Aura, so then they have the switch, and already down a switch. So they might not even be able to move the, the, uh, and they also can't play Coco Prism down either, so that's really good. Oh, they get rid of the Skateboard, why would they not play that? What the heck? <laughs> why would they not play the Skateboard? That doesn't make any sense. They could have escaped boarded the Raichu, or they could have escaped boarded on Jirachi. Whatever, I'm not going to complain, but still, that's kind of weird. There's the Thunder Mountain. Yeah, I was thinking about holding the Shine because they would probably get Thunder Mountain here, and they do get a Switch. Okay, they actually are going to get the thing off. Okay, I was... They hit everything they needed off that Dedenne. That's kind of annoying. And there's the Research. That's not good. Good thing we got Mew, honestly. Yeah, not getting a Spell Tag there is kind of bad, not going to lie. Not having the spell tag on the muck is kind of annoying. They actually choose to build up the Coco V. Okay, let's see what we draw. Jirachi's a good star. We could switch into it. We only have one escape board, though. I don't think it's worth it. I think I'm just going to go for a Cynthia here. I'm not really too worried about doing Marnie. Honestly, I don't really know what I could put them down to. And okay, well, that is definitely a hand. We have... No muck. Um, yeah, I guess we just got to switch in Jirachi. Looks like we have to sacrifice Jirachi. All right, let's see what this gives us. 
RIP, we did not find a, uh, didn't get a supporter. That is not good. Uh, we're pretty much just gonna pray we top take a supporter here. Damn. Damn, 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 damn. Damn, fam, lamb. Um, yeah, we're in trouble. They might play catchers too, like more catchers, so we might even lose our Toxicroak here. We could, they could knock out Mew. They could win the game probably if they knock out Mew this turn. Um, yeah, that was, that was a bad Cynthia. Our supporters have been kind of trash. We, we keep just getting like hands full of like three of one card. All right, let's just draw the muck for a supporter. <laughs> Another Crow Gunk. Yeah, this game is pretty much finished. The fact that we haven't been able to attack pretty much seals the game. I think I'm just going to scoop. I don't think we're going to be able to win this. Unfortunately, guys, we're probably going to be too far behind. Muck's not doing enough damage anyways. We'll just get into another game. Yeah, we just weren't really drawing the most efficient cards off of our supporters. Our supporters were just giving us, like, three Cynthia's, three Toxicroaks. Like, what am I supposed to do with that? So, yeah, that was just some bad RNG. Um... We're up against a fire deck. We want them to go first then, I guess, because they're playing fire. Um, we do get another pretty trash starting hand, unfortunately. The Absol start is not ideal. We'll see what they're playing here. Looks like they are going to be playing a green Zard deck. Um, I hope they don't play heals. That's going to be kind of frustrating if they have heals. Nice draw card. Toxic Cloak. All right. I actually don't want to lose Absol, so hopefully it survives a few turns. Uh, we're probably going to have to retreat the Absol. Prob yeah, we're going to have to retreat into Drache, I think. I don't know what I want to get rid of. Maybe the Great Catcher? I don't know. They actually mentioned a Lopunny Jigglypuff, which is interesting. I mean, it's not really going to make a difference. Uh, I think we'll get rid of a Toxicroak. Honestly, Toxicroak, you're kind of the oddball out. I have to get rid of a lot of our hand here. I guess we get rid of the Great Catcher. I I hate getting rid of Great Catchers like that, but every card in our hand is like actually kind of important here. All right, let's see what Stellar Wish gives me. We do get a research. We get a we get a thing too, a shrine, which would be good to play, but no. Okay, this is fine. We can at least do another treasure. We're gonna be down two energies, which I don't like. I wouldn't mind getting a turn two where we build up Blacephalon, but again, we have counter gain. All right, let's go research here. What are we looking at? Okay, we got Mew and Crow Gunk. I'm actually going to switch into the Mew because I don't want to lose Jirachi. We're just going to pass. Okay. Not a bad start. I, I was saying that hand was kind of trash, but it turned out it actually worked out in our favor. Let's see what happens. Marnie actually might be huge in this match because these green stacks like to kind of have big hands. So maybe Marnie spam might actually be really good for us. We'll see. We are down... Two energy, getting a Nornay Rod soon wouldn't be bad. We don't really need the Mew though, so I don't really care if Mew gets knocked out. Kind of just cannon fodder. I guess they could always use like Puffy Smashers, but I mean, whatever. I'd rather lose Mew than Jirachi at this point. I could have brought in the Grimer and just let it get knocked out, but I don't want to because we need to turn into a Muck. Um, I mean, they could Energy Burst Jirachi. Like, they could get double custom here, which they probably will get. They can only knock out Jirachi or Mew, though, with uh, Energy Burst, because Grimer has 80 HP. They're actually going to get a Hearth? Okay. If they counter their own Stadium here, um, that's going to be less out to countering my Shrine, which is really good. So let's see if they actually do that. Hopefully, uh, Absol's making a difference, too. Yeah, if they do get rid of their Heat Factory, that's huge, because I'm going to be Marnie them here, most likely, and they're going to have a low hand size, and without Heat Factory, they might get a bad hand. I mean, do they have to play the heart though? They are gonna play it, all right, nice. So if we can get a shrine here, that'd be good. Or if we can just make sure Marnie sticks, that would also be good. They're down three energy. I mean, they could do spreading flames, but this thing's not really that scary. Yeah, it's gonna energy burst. All right, um, I'm just gonna bring in the Grimer because I feel like we can get muck. Okay, that's not a muck. All right, we're going to Marnie them. Hopefully, we get a Muck here. I don't want to make a Jirachi again. We only have one. We only have one escape board. Okay, we do get the Muck. We get everything, actually. We get another Marnie. We get a Rod for next turn. Okay, that was a really good Marnie. And we just put their hand down to four. They also got rid of their own Heat Factory. So, it's looking pretty good. 
That was Toxic Sensation for nice little uh, poison, 80 damage. And uh, yeah, we're not gonna get knocked out. We have 130 HP too, so they have to like welder to energy to this. So we'll see if the Marnie gave them a welder. I mean, they do have Poking Gear. It's not gonna be out of the ballpark for them to hit a welder here, but we gotta hope they don't. Gotta hope they don't hit one. Like I'm more scared of their healing cards because they might play heals. They're playing green, they might have heals, which is a worry. I mean, this is a seven prize card game, technically having to deal with this, deal this, but they ever play a baby folk that can get knocked out by Blacephalon. They can't retrieve Victini either, thanks to Absol, which is kind of why it's so busted in this deck. So let's see what they do here. Oh, they're just kind of spreading flames. So Victini's actually going to be going down here, I think. It's going to be doing 120 in total. And they are going to build up the Zard, which is a little scary. It's fine, though. See, we top deck. Cynthia, beautiful. Because I didn't want to play the Marnie, because they only have three cards. Um, okay, put you down. We can incense for another muck. We got the triple muck going. I mean, I do want to get a Blasuff on turn, so hopefully we can get there. And we'll just Toxic Sensation them. We are going to be knocking out Victini here, thanks to the poison damage. All right, cool. And we got another Cynthia. And our other prize is another Krogunk. Okay, we can bench the Krogunk, I guess. Hmm. Actually, we want to save our bench spot for Blacephalon. Uh, so dealing with Zard might be a little tough. Again, they might have heals, um, which could make this really scary. Uh, but our setup is really good right now. This is like a pretty much our ideal setup. Yeah, do they have a Welder? No, they're going to Caitlyn Cynthia. Get back, what, the green? Yep. So they can play Green's Exploration here. Maybe I should have spell tagged in case they custom. I don't know. I don't know what they're going to get with this Green's. They could get another supporter for next turn. What would Green's get them that could help them? I might have to just Marnie them again. Okay, we're going to definitely Marnie them. Ooh, break Zard. And yeah, they're going to knock me up. So we get the spell tag damage here. We're just going to plop it all on the Zard, I think. We're just going to put it all on the Zard. Losing the Great Catcher might be a problem because this thing can easily just retreat. But it's going to lose four energy, so that's good. Okay, we drew Quick Ball. So we can get um, Blacephalon here, and we can try to build this guy up. Nah, let's play the Ordinary Rod. In fact, these two. Get back the energy, which is pretty important. And we will mining them again because we know they have two supporters. They probably have another surge. What are we looking at here? Ooh, perfect. I mean, we didn't get a supporter, but we have a skateboard for Drachi. And we got the energy on Blacephalon, which I really wanted. Yeah, so put that there. And we'll Toxic Sensation for another 40 damage poison. So they could retreat, but once they knock me out, we get Fireworks Bomb. We just Marnied them, so hopefully we didn't just give them another Greens to work with, because I don't want them to Greens Exploration again. Because I don't want to lose my Blacephalon here. They could retreat. Um, they could Crimson Pillar me, I guess, if they want, but that's not really going to put them very far in this match. All right. They might have got a Welder off that, because they're playing the Giant Hearth. Ah, they found a Green. That's annoying. I really hope they don't knock out Blacephalon. I mean, I guess if they do, we can somehow combo together a counter gain. Oh no, it's gonna be the discard. We don't even have ordinary rod. What am I saying? <laughs> I thought we had an ordinary rod still, but I just remembered we just played it. Yeah, they do play mixed herbs. Yikes, those heals, man, those heals, they're too much. It looks like they're not even gonna heal 80, they're just gonna heal the poison off, which is pretty annoying. All right, let's see what they do. Yeah. Decks that have those type of heals are not good, but there's like only one deck that would play them, and that is, I guess, what we're playing against, so we just kind of got unlucky. Are they playing two? No. Okay, they're just going to move the push, which is kind of relevant. We can still knock this Zard out, though, with the Cephalon, though, which is good. Okay. So that'll put it at 120. Let me just put 10 damage on that, I guess, sure. Good thing they don't play Big Charm. Alright, this has to be a really good Stellar Wish, though. 
Okay. Or we just draw the counter gain. We don't even need it. Who who says we need it? All right, we're just gonna play this. Stellar Wish. We got Shrine. I'm tempted to take the Shrine and just go for the Fireworks Bomb and hope for the best. Or should I just get Marnie? I should probably just get Marnie. It's probably for the best to get a Marnie here. Their hand's not that big, but you never know. We might put him into a bad hand. Yeah, we didn't get a Shrine. Maybe I should have just taken the Shrine and then just hope that my next other wish would give me a supporter. That might have been the best play. And we just gotta put all the damage on the Zard. And we might not get knocked out here. If only we had the Shrine, we could prevent them from possibly knocking me out with this. So maybe... I, I think we're out of Marnies. Well, let me look at my discard pal. Okay, we have one left. We need Marnie because of Brilliant Flare. That's an issue. Yeah, hopefully they don't have a Welder here. I really wish I had Shrine because then we they couldn't just Giant Hearth. And they're actually down quite a few energies too, right? Yeah, they've played a lot. They've played like eight. Okay, they have a Crystal. Okay, I really hope they don't have a Welder here. If they have a Welder, we are in a lot of trouble. I mean, they haven't... I don't think they've... They played like, what, one Welder? No Welders yet? This is going to be hard to win if they get a Welder here. Oh, another Victini. They could retreat into that. No, they can't retreat. Never mind. Okay. Do they have a Welder? They don't. They have to play Malana, which is good because one, they don't get to use the heal, and two, we get another turn of Fireworks Bomb. Actually, we played the energy already. Oof. Yeah, I just realized we actually played our only energy. We still have an energy left in the deck. We'll probably just, we'll just burn a few cards in our hand here. But this is good. This is fine. We have 15 cards left in the deck. Really need to get that Shrine of Punishment. We still have to deal with Mixed Herb, though, so we're not out yet. There's the Shrine. One card off. About time. Let's just burn this. How much energy is left? Four. Ow. Hopefully we get an energy for both. Have fun. If we don't, that's going to be really, really awkward. Because <laughs> then we can't do Fireworks Bomb, and that's just going to really suck. There we go. Nice. Actually, probably should have checked if I had a Marnie in the deck. Uh, do we want to switch? Probably not. I think we just go for Fireworks Bomb here. Question is, what do I hit? I mean, I guess just hit the active, right? They can't retreat because of Absol's in play. Mm, I don't know, because I don't really know if I have a way to deal with this. Other than, like, if we had Mew still, maybe. I just put all the damage on the Zard in case they attack. I mean, they're going to attack with it, so we should probably just hit that Zard, honestly. I don't know. I might regret that, but I think it was for the best. Just put all the damage on this thing. I mean, if the well, Slavon doesn't get knocked down next turn, we actually can win by knocking that out if Shine sticks. We can actually knock up the Zard here if the Shine of Punishment does stick around. We'll see. We'll see if Blacephalon lives. No, oh, no, they're doing... Okay, never mind. It won't live because they're doing enough to knock me out. They do play a tag switch. Okay. Maybe we should have... I mean, I guess it didn't matter where we put the damage anyways. They would have retreated. Two turns of Fireworks Bomb, though. Not bad. Okay. Let's see what we draw. Another Psychic. Sure. We do have a Marnie. I think we will take it. Just be like, hey, we have an answer to your thing. Uh, we can't really... It doesn't really matter what else we do, right? Here we go. Toxic Sensation. See where this takes us. Now, they can retreat, but unless they have a Welder, they can't attack. Actually, yeah, they, they're also low on energy, so... They might not be able to attack me with the Zard this turn. They might have to keep the Victini, but Victini will get knocked out. So this is going to be a close game. Maybe if this wasn't a threat, but it's not really a threat. All we can do is Puffy Smashers, which I guess... I mean, Puffy Smashers could be bad. Ooh, Tag Call. That's going to get him a Mallow and Lana. They still can't attack me with this, though. Wait, it didn't get anything? Did they not get anything there? I don't think they did. 
Yo. Are we about to body mans? Customs? Okay, what are they doing? What are they bringing in? Toxic Croak? They could take out Absol. Jirachi with the escape board. That's why I benched this guy, just in case. Okay, they're gonna bring in the other muck for some reason. Uh, they're still gonna be poisoned. Huh, what's that last card in their hand? Is it a supporter? Are they just gonna retreat? They could retreat and GX me. That's not really gonna do them much. No, they're just gonna energy burst. Okay. Um. Is that game? Yeah, that's game. We win. We win. Wow. Okay. Cool. Toxic sensation for 40. Poison for 40. A bye bye Victini. That worked out in the end. All right. Wow. What a what an interesting match to say the least. What an interesting match with the Muck deck. That was kind of cool. That was kind of nice. This deck, honestly, kind of fun to play. We got a... I mean, that was like the perfect match for us, though. You know what I mean? Like, everything was pretty much just going our way there, which is pretty nice. So I'm going to see this. How many hurt? They had one great potion. Uh, they only, only had two mixed herbs. Wow, okay. So I guess they didn't really have that amazing about... Wow. Wasn't expecting to play against a green stack. Which kind of is hard to beat because of the heals they have, but we overcame it, and uh, Mock Toxic Croak was able to come out on top. All right, I'll do one more game of this deck because this deck's actually really fun to play. Okay, jumping into another game with Mock Toxic Croak here. We are playing against Black Wolfman, and it looks like he's playing possibly a Malamar deck here. We'll have to see. Uh, we do go first, so we will choose to go first, I think, no matter what, because we want to go first with this deck and we get a Grimer Absol start we do have both on if we can get an energy here we can uh, get this guy powered up early which is actually kind of like what I like so we'll see if we can top deck an energy but other than that not a bad start the Grimer's fine Absol could be pretty decent if they do play Jirachi so we'll have to see what we can draw here hoping it's an energy if not whatever but I would like to power up stuff on early if it is possible want we'll to see We'll actually also have to see what they're playing. They have a dark deck box. Okay, they start with a Zacian. We didn't draw an energy, which is unfortunate. Uh, the Zacian start tells me they don't play... Um, they don't play Thing. Uh, what's his face? They don't play uh, ADP. I don't know. There was no Dragon I saw. Uh, let's put that there. I'm just going to pass. I don't think Grimer's going to get knocked out, but we'll still put that down. Good thing Metal's not weak to resistance to Psychic anymore. That's kind of relevant, actually, because we don't have to worry about doing 10 damage to the Zacian with our attack. It's going to be 40 still, which is pretty lit. But not a bad start. I mean, we would have been nice to get energy on Blacephalon. It's fine. I can treasure the Blown Away, maybe. If I draw something good, we can treasure the Blown Away and get it back later with Ornery Rod. We'll have to see. I don't know what they're playing. It could be an Obstagoon deck, maybe. Okay, they do play Dolls. I don't think it's the mill deck, right? They get a bill? I don't know. Every time I see a doll in a Zacian, it kind of scares me because that tells me they're playing mill, but I don't think this is mill. I do not think this is going to be a mill deck. The Absol is actually a good start then because they probably don't play metals and this thing can't retreat with an air balloon. Okay. I was right. It is indeed an Obstagoon deck, which is an evolution deck, which is kind of nice. Um, I mean... The annoying thing about this matchup is they could bypass Spell Tag with Obstagoon's ability. That's kind of frustrating. The dolls are also kind of annoying to deal with. These are like my... Dolls are like my least favorite card right now. I mean, there's still, still decks I would use that have them, but like... Boss's Hoarder hopefully will kill off this thing altogether because... Dolls are the most annoying thing on the planet right now. Seriously, like... These cards should never have been printed. It is so toxic. Um, Alright. Marnie wouldn't be terrible here. No, we get another Crow Gunk. I mean, having two Toxic Croak isn't terrible, I guess. Ah, right, you know what? We're gonna get rid of the Blown. We're gonna get the Muck. I hate to do it, but we can always get that back down the road. And we'll Cynthia and pray we get an energy. Okay, we got one. Nice. We got Toxic Croak, too. There's Counter Gain. We have Jirachi to work with also. We have 120 HP, so we can get knocked out here if they do go into so I think we should bench this. Um Toxic Secretion. Oh, I should have gone to Grimer with the quick ball. Rip. I shoot, I screwed up there. Should have gone Grimer with the quick ball. That's my bad. Uh but again, this thing might not be able to move. We didn't get a uh, research. Or not a research, sorry, a Marnie, but that's fine. 
should have benched the Grimer. But at the same time, I do need this for Bulcephalon. Bulcephalon could be relevant, knocking out like multiple dolls at once, just wipe them all off the board. They play Steven's Resolve. Okay, now having Marnie would be really relevant. And they're gonna keep attacking my active. Okay, it looks like we're safe this turn. So we can actually knock out the Zacian and take two prizes right away, which is nice. Um, the Poison knocks him out, so I don't think they get access to Rosa, which is also pretty good. Now let's see, we draw Evolution Incense. So it's either the counter gain. I guess we will never get to use it because we're already going to be heading prizes. I guess. And we'll Toxic, toxic whatever. Not going to bother pronouncing the attack. Oh, they're going to get Arto going into their next turn. If not, the spell tag can always finish them off, which is pretty good. Okay. I, we should have actually just Evolution Incense for a second Toxic Croak. That's my bad. Should have done that. I didn't realize. It's fine, though. They're still going to get knocked out going into my turn, which is probably better, in all honesty. So, I'm actually fine with that. I mean, they'll obviously just give us a doll, which is kind of annoying, but whatever. They're just going to put as many dolls in play as they can. And, yep, the Zacian goes down. They're going to give me a doll here, unfortunately. We have to deal with that annoying crap. But, we get two prizes. Let's see if we get a supporter. We need a Marnie here. I don't know if we prized a Marnie. We did not get a Marnie. I think we uh, maybe switch in Jirachi. Look at how big their hand is. Holy cow. Uh. Their hand is huge. I'm going to try to see if I can get a Marnie here. Hey, there we go. Uh, Yeah, we'll switch back into Muck. We'll just keep trying to pick away these dolls. Why not? All right, Marnie. Give me the goods. Nice, we got another Marnie. We do have a Quick Ball, too. Might play that just to get rid of this Toxic Croak, because I don't think we need it anymore. And, yeah, I'm going to attack them. I mean, if they have a Rosa, they have a Rosa, so be it. But I think I want to get rid of these dolls ASAP. Run them out of the dolls is really good. And they concede the game. They're like, nope, my goons, my dolls. Oh, yeah, seriously, dolls leave the format. But that will wrap up today's PC video, guys, on the Muck Toxic Croak deck. I know that second game there wasn't super insane, but, man, this deck is fun to play. As you can see, guys, we uh, kind of just bodied my opponent there. And I guess, I mean, as long as you don't play against ADP's Asian, which is probably this deck's, like, worst matchup. Um... This deck is really fun to play. Um, so yeah, give it a try. Um, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe down below. If you're new to the channel, help me in order to reach 8,000 subs. Uh, the support on the channel has been amazing as always, guys. Make sure to check out our sponsor card, Kevin TCG, down below too. It's code LDF. And I mean, yeah, that's about it. Stay safe, guys. Uh, stay quarantined. Play PDCGO in the meantime. Do whatever. I don't know. Just stay safe. Follow me on Twitter down below. And I'll see you guys later.